Welcome to Awakening House Friday Night Prayer. We're so glad you guys can make it out with us. Holy Spirit, we thank you, Lord, that you're in this place, Father God. You're so tangible, Lord. Father, we've come to be touched by you tonight, Lord, as we sit in our seats, our gaze focused on you, God. We ask that you touch our hearts, Lord, that you increase us in our spirit, God, that our flesh dies so that we can be filled with more of you, Lord. We welcome you, Lord. We yield to you. We ask that you show us how to submit to you in deeper ways that we didn't even know were possible, Lord. Father, we ask that we hate what you hate and love what you love, that you would give us your heart and your heart's desire. God, we thank you for every intercessor in this place, God, that you brought us here to be equipped this weekend, Lord, and we say thank you, Lord, that you see us fit to be used by you, God, as instruments in your hands, Lord. It is an honor. It is a privilege to pray, Lord. Father, give us your heart, Lord, and I thank you, Father, that as we press in, as we pray, as we contend for your will, that you take care of our needs, God. You look after our family, God. You give us health in our body, Father. We thank you for the promises for the intercessors, Lord, that it is our portion, that we reflect Jesus, who's constantly making intercessors on our behalf. We want more of your heart, Lord. We want your boldness, God, to know that we are victorious, that we pray from a place of triumph. We are triumphant people because of the blood of Jesus Christ. So I plead the blood over every person in this place today. We plead the blood over the leadership team of this house, Father. We plead the blood over our house, over every ministry, over the prophecy rooms, the healing. We say, come in and have your way, Lord. We're your gates, Father. We ask that your spirit flow and move through us, God. We get out of your way so that you can do your will, Lord. You're a wonderful Father, so magnificent, so marvelous, Lord. And we say thank you that you see it fit to rest your spirit in us. That the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is in us, God. It's a privilege. Father, we thank you for the blood, for the sacrifice, Lord. That it's our portion, that we are in covenant with the Lord of Lord and King of Kings. You are our Abba, Father, and you hear our pleas. You hear our cries. You answer every prayer. God, you know what's on our mind before we even ask it. You know you already needed it, God. So we pray for an increase in faith in this place today to know that it's already done. We're just stepping in agreement with your will for our lives, God. I thank you that your thoughts of us are good, thoughts of joy and peace, Lord. Father, we die to self, Lord. We die to self-rejection. We cast down every vain imagination, every evil thought from the wicked one telling us who we are. We are yours, Lord. We thank you that the blood of Jesus covers us, God, that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, seated in the heavenly places. Thank you, Father, for the armor that we're able to fight, to war, to give a war cry. This weekend, we give a war cry. We shut down the enemy in our city this weekend. You will not have your way, Satan. Father, we thank you that your will will be manifest in us, Lord. That you have started a work and you will complete it in the name of Jesus Christ. We come into agreement with your will for our lives, for our nations. God, we are intercessors standing on the wall and we desire to be used by you, Lord. So crucify the flesh, crucify our bodies. God, we yield ourselves just as Jesus did on the cross. It's an honor, Lord. We want more of you. Father God, this weekend we cast down every vain imagination, all heavy burdens. We give them to you, Lord. We ask for new wind, new might, new strength, endurance to continue to run this race well, Lord. You haven't given us a battle that we cannot win, so we are victorious, Lord. We pray for an increase this weekend, Lord. We thank you that impartation has already begun as we sit in this place, Lord. Your spirit is here resting on your people, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you're here. <laughs> you're so good to us, Lord. Father, we ask protection for our apostle, for the prophet, for the pastors, Lord. We thank you for their sacrifice day after day, Lord, for your kingdom, for your glory, Lord. Teach us how to give them honor, Lord, how to be respectful, how to receive all that's on their lives, Lord. Father, teach us how to stand in the gap and pray for our leader, Lord. Give us your eyes to see her rightly, Lord, to know that she is still human 
She's yours. She's your vessel. She's used by you, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus over her. We ask for new strength. Father, we thank you that tomorrow she is going to preach your word so sharp, God. She's going to be so close to you tomorrow. And she loses what you poured into her for us, God. We plead the blood of Jesus over our apostle, Father over our prophet, over our pastors. We speak health to their lives, health to their bodies, prosperity in the name of Jesus Christ. We lose divine protection around about them. God, I thank you that your angels encamp around them, Lord, that they are so close to your heart, Father, underneath your wing, Lord, that you protect them, Father. They are yours. Father, I thank you that your double fire surrounds them, Lord. Father, we thank you for their yes, for their amen, for their obedience, Lord, and we pray for increase, increase in every single area of their lives, Lord. We thank you, Father and Father God, that you've given them to us as gifts, Lord. That you've given us the apostles, the prophets, the pastors as a gift to the body to equip us, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, that they said yes to you, Father God. Lord, we plead the blood around about our house bind every distraction, every hindrance in Jesus' name. We get out of your way, Lord. We say, come in, Lord. Have your way, Father God. We are waiting. We are ready to see you move in this place, Father. Come in, Father God. We want to see your eyes of fire come into this place, Lord. We want to hear your voice like thunder, like many waters. Come in, Father God. We need you, Lord. We yearn for you. We are desperate for more of you, Lord. Fill us up to overflow in this place, Lord. More of you and less of us. We decrease in this place tonight, Lord. Fill us afresh, God. Fill us afresh, Lord. Fresh living water, fresh fire. We ask for more, Father God. More of you, more of you, Lord. Give us more of you, Father God. Would that be our hearts cry? More of you and less of us, Lord. We get down, we get low, we humble ourselves. We decrease, God, we are nothing without you, Lord. We're just mere humans, God, saying dust, and your spirit resides in us, and you love us, Lord. We say thank you, Father. You are such a good Father, so good to us. Father, we stand tonight against all violence in our city, Lord. We thank you that your desire for our city is peace and unity. So we bind that spirit of violence in the name of Jesus Christ. We loose your peace. We loose your love in our city in Jesus' name. We bind violence in the schools. We bind violence against police officers in Jesus' name. Spirit of violence, we speak to you tonight and we say bow to the name of Jesus Christ. You will not rear your head in our city in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to stand in the gap on the wall. We want to watch and pray for you. We want to shut violence down and out of our cities. God, wake us up. Give us specifics. Teach us how to pray for our cities, God. We want your heart for our city, Father God. Violence, you will not have our nation. You will not have our states in Jesus' name. Father, we contend for a move for you to come across and sweep our mighty nation, God. We dedicate our nation back to you. We plead the blood of Jesus over America, God. We plead the blood over every senator, every representative, every Supreme Court justice, over the vice president, over the president, God. We ask for your blood to be their portion, God, that you would surround them with guidance and wise counsel in the name of Jesus, Lord. Give them eyes to see your people, God, your eyes, your heart, Lord. We bind violence, we bind greed, we bind strife in the name of Jesus Christ. Teach us how to be vessels of peace, Lord. How to be instruments of peace. We are ambassadors of Christ Jesus. Reconcilers in the earth, Lord. We ask that you teach us how to reconcile just as you do, Lord. That we reconcile by the Holy Spirit, Lord. Because nothing is impossible for you, Lord. So bring peace through us, God. We ask for that impartation tonight. In Jesus' name.
Padre en el nombre de Jesús te damos gracias Señor te damos gracias por tu presencia Señor en este lugar Padre te invitamos Espíritu Santo de Dios que nos llene Señor que nos limpie Señor purifícanos Señor en esta noche Padre te damos gracias te alabamos Señor exaltamos tu nombre en esta noche Padre We thank you, Father. We praise your holy name, Lord. We exalt you and we magnify you, Lord. Father God, apart from you, we can't do nothing, God. So we ask you, Father God, to forgive us, Lord, of our sins, that you would cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Give us pure hands and a clean heart, Father God. Let us come boldly before your throne, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we exalt you. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. We thank you, Father, for everything that you're doing in our lives. Father, help us to discern the times and the seasons that we're in, Lord. Give us discernment, Lord, would you sharpen us, Father God. Let your spirit of truth lead us and guide us, Father God. We want to be rooted and grounded in you, Father. Help us to not be ignorant of the devil's devices, Father. But help us, Lord, to press in, Lord, to move forward in you, Lord. Even if it's just one step, Father God, help us, Lord. We want to press into you, Lord. We want to press in the secret place, Father God. We're asking you, Lord, help us to decrease so that you may increase, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We thank you for tonight, Father. I plead the blood of Jesus over everyone here, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for Apostle Jennifer LeClaire. We bless her, Lord. We ask you, Father God, for angels on assignment to protect her, Father God. We bless her coming in and her going out, Lord. We thank you for the prophet of the house, Lord, and we ask you, Father God, that you would keep her, Lord. We thank you for her life, Lord, and we thank you for our pastors of this church, Lord. We thank you for their hearts, Lord, and we thank you for everything they do for you, Lord, for your kingdom, Father God. Thank you for this house, Lord. We thank you that your spirit lives here, Lord. We thank you for every mantle that lays on this house, prophecy, deliverance, healing, Father God. Thank you, Father, that we can come, Lord, that we don't have to hide under a cave, Lord, but we can just come, Lord, and be in your presence, Lord, and learn about you and grow, Lord, in you. We thank you for the privilege, Lord, to serve you, Lord. Give us your heart, Lord. Help us to walk in love, Lord. To see how you see, Father God. Would you sharpen us, Lord? Make us strong intercessors like you are, Lord. You are the main intercessor in heaven, Father. We thank you, God. We thank you for the blood that washes over us, Lord. We thank you for the cleansing, the, the healing that you're doing, Father God. We praise you, Lord. You're so wonderful, God. We thank you for the power of agreement. Thank you, Father God. Your word says that the righteousness are as bold as a lion. Father, we come before you asking, Lord, to help us to see ourselves the way you see us. That our identity is in you, Father God, and not in men. Help us, Lord, to crucify our flesh, Father God. To know who we are in you, Father God. To rise up, Father. We are not defeated, Lord, but we're more than conquerors in you, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you for your word. We cast down every vain imagination and every thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We take every thought captive and we plead the blood of Jesus over our minds tonight. Father God, we want to be centered in you, Lord. We don't want to be moved. We don't want to be double-minded, Lord, but we want to be rooted and grounded in you. Help us to be alert in the spirit of our minds, Father God. Give us the grace, Holy Spirit, help us, Lord. You are a helper, you are a comforter, you are an advocate, Lord. Help us to not ignore you, Lord, or to not be aware of you, Father. We praise you, Lord. We thank you for tonight and we just thank you for tomorrow, Lord. We ask, Father God, we plead the blood of Jesus over the teaching. We thank you for apostle again, Lord. We thank you for your daughter's life, Lord. We thank you for her yes and her amen. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.
Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Father, for the privilege and the opportunity to come before you today corporately and pray. Thank you, Father, for giving us your heart for what you would like to see happen around us in our families, Father God, in our cities. We just bless you tonight for the healing rain that you are flowing upon us, Lord God. We bless you that you remember us. Who are we, Jesus, that you remember us? But you do, Father God, and we bless you. We honor you, and you are worthy of all praise, honor, and glory. Oh, bless the Lord, all oh, my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Father God, for those who press to come out here tonight, Lord God. May you bless them. May you keep them. May you cover them, Lord God. And we thank you tonight, Lord God, for your goodness in this day. We thank you for the benefits of this day. We thank you for your compassions in this day. We bless you for the house, for the awakening house of prayer, Father God. We thank you for Apostle Jennifer. We thank you for Prophet Vanessa, Lord God. Thank you for the dedication. Thank you for the spirit of meekness, Father God. Oh, we bless you for that tonight. We thank you, Father God, and bless you for a time such as this where we could be afraid to come out, Lord God, you've blessed us to come out and to fellowship with each other, Lord God, in boldness. We thank you for the courage of this time, Lord God, that only comes from you. Oh, you are amazing. And thank you for the amazing things that you're doing in us, through us and around us, Lord God. It is in your name and for your name's sake that we have the courage in this time that we have. I pray courage over the leadership in the body of Christ. I pray against the spirit that causes a divide in the body of Christ, Lord God. Let us be unified, hallelujah. Let us be unified in you in this time, Jesus. Bless us to come together and remember, it is not about us, it is about you. We remember Catherine Kuhlman and what she said. She said, every time I come out, it is not me, she said, it is him it is the Holy Ghost she said she said I don't do the work he does the work father we thank you for blessing us to come forward that you come forward in us Lord God and that great work that's needed in that moment father God you are doing that work we decrease that you might increase in us and do those things that bring you such great pleasure father God we thank you tonight, Lord God, for your goodness in this time. Bless us to have the revelation that we need, to have the understanding that we need, Father God, of the word, especially over Psalms 91. I pray tonight that everyone in this place, every white body in the body of Christ will get a revelation of Psalms 91. I believe that is your heart, that we get a full understanding of Psalms 91, that we do not just recite it, but that we get an understanding from you, the full revelation of what it means. I pray that tonight in Jesus' name for full revelation. Bless us, Father God, to understand what you meant by Psalms 91. It is a love letter to your sons. It's a love letter to your daughters. But bless us to understand what that means, that the plague shall come not nigh our dwelling. Bless us to understand what you meant by that, Father God. I believe there's a lack of understanding in the body of Christ over Psalms 91. It is being recited over and over again. But Father God, you give understanding. You give knowledge. You give wisdom. And I pray that every son and daughter will have that revelation in Jesus name and I pray this tonight fathers you have highlighted Matthew 5 and, tw and 20 that we father God your sons and your daughters our righteousness must exceed that of the scribes and the Pharisees bless us not to go through the motions but bless us to seek you and seek your face strong in this hour Lord God bless us father God to have a greater heart for you that we might know you that we might know you Jesus that we might know you we need to know you bless us to know you Jesus so that we might do those things that you would have us to do Lord God with a stronger dedication Father that we might know you I pray that tonight in Jesus' name.
that our righteousness would exceed that of the scribes and the Pharisees who just went through the motions, never knowing you. As you are right there in front of them, they could not see you. Bless us to not go through the motions. Bless us, Father God, to have a heart to seek you, to know you. If we don't know anything else, bless us to know you, Father. Bless us to grow. Bless us to love. Bless us to be all you've called us to be. Oh, I pray tonight, Lord God, for those who have family members who are not well, whether it be because of COVID-19 for any other reason, is anything too hard for the Lord? Bless those who are grieving at this time, Father God. Some are confused. I bind the spirit of confusion over the body of Christ and I loose your peace. I loose your understanding. Oh, Father God, bless you for you have not forgotten your children, for you are covering us. You are keeping us. Bless us to continue to grow. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Father, we thank you, Father, because you are the good, good Father. You are the good Father. And we thank you, Lord, for, that, for the love that you show for all of us here. Lord, we thank you for Apostle Jennifer. We thank you for this house. We thank you for the uh, opportunity to be able to travel here, to be with all the people here. We thank you, Father for all that you do for us. In the name of Jesus, we just take a stand now against this violence. We speak against the violence, in not only in this city, but throughout every city represented here that is visiting in this town. We bind the spirit of violence now in the name of Jesus, and we just lose your peace. And as the other intercessor had prayed, Lord, may we come to know you. May we come to know you deeply, Lord. And I just come to speak to the churches, Father, who are divided. Divided, not just in denominations and thoughts and words, but they are actually divided by Jesus. And that hurts. So help us to get to know Jesus as this other intercessor had said Lord we thank you Jesus for you we thank you for your love we thank you for your sacrifice help us to deeply get to know you so that this violence will be overtaken by your love and we come against this fear because there is no fear in your love Lord so as people come to know you more deeply Lord the fear will go so we thank you Jesus for all of this and we just thank you for the staff here father and for what they give and what they pour out and again we also pray father for all those who are sick with the COVID sick with the flu just sick with any disease or illness Lord and we plead the blood of Jesus over them and we ask father that you just intervene and heal totally heal this land heal this nation heal this city lord here in florida and we just thank you lord in jesus name
rabasi rabasa kar rabosu rabasi ke rabasa er rabasa kar rabosu rabasi ke rabasa der rabosu we thank you heavenly father for you are good and you are worthy and you are magnificent you are worthy of all the glory and all the praise we thank you heavenly father for being a good god to us all the time father god even when we didn't deserve it father god you loved us er rabosu ko rabasi you sent your son to die upon the cross for us father god we thank you lord for the sacrifice that you made upon the cross so that we may live and not die her rabosu ko rabasi Rabasa ke raboso ko rabasi er rabasa er rabasa ka raboso ko rabasi er rabasa ke rabasa er raboso we come to you father god asking for deliverance for our cities against the spirit of violence lord jesus we know that it's not our covenant right to be in fear for you have not given us a spirit of fear but a power love and a sound mind so we bind the spirit of violence we bind the spirit of confusion we bind the spirit of lust and we bind every demonic distraction that's coming against the church and coming against our cities in Jesus name we thank you father god for your love is overflowing you have given us beauty for ashes and everything that the enemy stole is being returned sevenfold to us we thank you father god that you are sending confusion to the enemy's camp that you are denouncing every evil spirit that comes to hinder us and you are binding every distraction from your people we thank you father god that we are not going to stand for our cities to be overtaken and brought shot by the enemy but we are standing up against the devil and the hell fire and we're telling the enemy go back where he came from that he has to go back and he is bound in Jesus name we come against every spirit of torment come against the mind of our children come against those that have to go to school every day that they have to be afraid that they may not make it home because they might be shot on the way to school on the way in school father god we bind every power of the enemy because we have power to tread over serpents and scorpions all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm us we thank you father god for releasing miracle signs and wonders in this hour because you said those shall follow those 
alabamos, te bendecimos, te glorificamos Señor y damos gracias por quien eres, te damos gracias por esta casa de oración, por esta casa Señor que tenemos el privilegio de hacer tu obra Padre, cubrimos a Apostle Jennifer Leclerc con la sangre del Cordero, de la punta de la cabeza a la planta de sus pies, su entrada, su salida, su casa, todo lo que está conectado con ella y te damos gracias por su vida Señor, declarando que ningún arma forjada contra ella prosperará. Gracias Señor por tu ministerio de ángeles que preceden Señor y de acuerdo a tu voluntad te pedimos que encampen alrededor de ella Padre, de todo lo que esté conectado con ella. Te damos gracias Señor por los centros de oración, por las casas de oración, por cada líder Señor que ha respondido al llamado y se para en la brecha, intercediendo, cuidando y orando como dice tu palabra Padre. Señor en común acuerdo venimos ante tu presencia esta noche declarando Señor paz en las calles de esta nación un derramamiento de tu Espíritu Santo Señor que traerá el avivamiento en nuestros corazones, en nuestras familias en nuestras ciudades y en esta nación atamos todo espíritu de violencia y le ordenamos que se vaya ya en el nombre de Jesús en el nombre de Jesús declaramos Señor vida y vida en abundancia sobre la juventud de esta nación Señor que tendremos en las noticias declaraciones de la paz que ha sobretomado las calles de esta nación y no habrá crímenes ni actos de violencia Señor atamos la mano del enemigo Señor que ha querido venir a robarle la vida prematuramente a tantos jóvenes en esta nación la mano del enemigo que ha querido venir Señor a usar la adicción para robarle sus vidas declaramos Señor que ellos estarán ebrios pero ebrios del Espíritu Santo que habrá un derramamiento de tu Espíritu Santo en las calles de esta nación y que voltearemos los ojos hacia el cielo Señor y te daremos gracias alabando y glorificando tu santo nombre en el nombre de Jesús Señor te doy gracias por esos hombres y mujeres que se han levantado en sus hogares, en sus ciudades, en esta nación. Clamando misericordia, Señor, y atando la mano del enemigo. Se acaba, Señor, en esta nación el derramamiento de sangre inocente. En el nombre de Jesús. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor. Declaramos cada promesa del Salmo sobre las familias de esta nación seguimos contendiendo Señor en el nombre de Jesús por el final del aborto pero sobre todo Señor nos paramos en la brecha clamando tu misericordia sobre los ciudadanos de esta nación y pidiéndote con tu amor que transforme los corazones este no es un tema Señor político no es un tema de derechos no es un tema de opinión es un tema de vida y muerte y declaramos, Señor, que vida en abundancia es la porción de tu pueblo. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor, te damos las gracias por tu infinita misericordia y el amor que nos transforma. Que aprendamos a caminar en el amor de la transformación y tu obra redentora en nuestras vidas, Señor. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor, te pedimos un derramamiento del Espíritu Santo en la juventud de esta nación y que la pureza se transforme en algo de moda que tu amor Señor irradique toda mentira que nos ha hecho aceptar las cosas que no son como si lo fueran que podamos Señor tener una revelación de la importancia de la oración y como es lo único que nos ayudará a transformar nuestras vidas de acuerdo a tu voluntad Señor yo clamo la sangre de Cristo sobre los Estados Unidos sobre cada una de las naciones hispanoparlantes y sobre todas las naciones del mundo que tú has creado pidiéndote Señor misericordia sobre las naciones, sobre tu pueblo sobre todo aquellos que han puesto los ojos en cualquier cosa menos en ti perdona la idolatría la ignorancia, la terquedad
dar las prácticas ocultas Señor perdónanos ten misericordia sobre los Estados Unidos y el mundo entero trae Señor ese avivamiento continúa Padre levantando esos intercesores para que no seamos 400 en oración sino los mil que tú le mostraste a tu hija Padre en el nombre de Jesús que habrán centros de oración contendiendo por la libertad y el avivamiento en cada una de las naciones del mundo entero dale a tu hija Señor discernimiento profético, sabiduría ideas, inventos de cómo propagar tu palabra y hacerla llegar más lejos, en más idiomas en más lenguajes, en más dialectos Señor en el nombre de Jesús en el nombre de Jesús te damos gracias Señor porque la paz que sobrepasa todo entendimiento arropará tus naciones porque Señor tú traerás luz donde hay oscuridad en el nombre de Jesús porque seguirás levantando Señor hombres y mujeres que respondan al llamado de interceder por tu pueblo por una juventud Señor que levantará la bandera para declarar a Jesucristo como Señor y Salvador de no solo de su vida de su hogar y de su ciudad pero de naciones enteras Señor en el nombre de Jesús en el nombre de Jesús, Señor, yo te doy las gracias por la oportunidad de poder estar aquí esta noche en mutuo acuerdo porque tu palabra dice claramente que donde dos o más están reunidos en un mismo acuerdo, tu voluntad y oráramos en el nombre de tu amado Hijo Jesucristo, no solamente nos escuchas, sino que nos respondes. Gracias, gracias por el poder del acuerdo, gracias por el poder del nombre de tu amado Hijo. Gracias por tu misericordia, Señor, por tu sí y por tu amén. En el nombre de Jesús, Señor, te doy las gracias y oro, Señor. Amén.
Father God, I thank you, Father, for the honor that we have to be able to come here tonight, to gather in one accord, Father God, not only tonight, but this weekend, Father God, for all those that are coming in for the conference, Father God, for the intercessors, Father God, to intercede for each and every individual nation and city and state, country. We just put a bloodline around this, around this place, Father God. We just put that no weapon formed can come against anything here this weekend. No witchcraft, no Jezebel, no interruption. In Jesus' name, we bind it. In Jesus' name, and I thank you, Father God, for the, for the blood over everyone that's coming into an attendance and who will be viewing online, Father God. Be no disturbance uh, that everything shall go, that they shall hear, they shall know only you that you O Lord it's your blood it's your blood it's your blood it's your blood over each and every one that when you open our ears you open our minds and our hearts and our spirits to receive everything that apostle shares and anyone else that shares into Kurabai and intercedes into into that we we can only become we can only become better stronger mightier in you Lord Jesus Lord that you fill us with your faith Father God your faith moves the mountains we move the mountains even the seven mountains even now and we ask again for your we, I thank you Father God for your protection over each and every one every family represented God every state every nation every country in Jesus name we especially we especially put the blood of Jesus over Apostle Jennifer Father God and all those we thank you Father God that those who have already made it here Father God that you've protected them Lord and we come against any hindrances for this whole weekend and even the return home in Jesus name and I thank you Father God for that there will be there shall not be any disturbances in the name of Jesus for it is your blood it's your blood Lord Jesus in the name of Jesus I pray thank you Father
all the universe, the Alpha, the Omega, the was, who was and is to come. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for desiring to use us, Lord, to do your will upon this earth, Lord God. Father God, I just repent, Lord, on behalf of anybody who hasn't, and myself of any sins, Lord. For I want to hear, Lord, from you. I want to get your marching orders, Lord God. Father God, I want to stand, Lord, with you. I'm in agreement with your will upon this earth, Lord God. Your will, Lord God. Father God, I thank you, Lord God, that we can bind the spirits of murder, violence, Lord God. All of the darkness that the enemy has placed against us. We can bind the coronavirus, Lord God. That Omicron variant, Lord God, that is ravaging our nation and indeed ravaging the whole world, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We still stand. You are in control. I pray that your people, Lord God, will rise up, Lord. We bind the visions in the church, Lord. We speak unity, Lord, so that your people, Lord, can hear your marching orders and can stand in agreement and cast out, Lord, everything that is not you upon this earth, the darkness, Lord, that is, has engulfed us, Lord God. Father God, I pray, Lord God, that you raise up the intercessors over every city, Lord, over every county, Lord, those, Lord, who feel called, Lord. You raise them up, Lord, to, to pray, Lord God. You raise up the watchmen, Lord, to stay on top of the walls, Lord God, to see, Lord God, with spiritual eyes, to discern, Lord God, what's the enemy is trying to do in our country, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God, that you still have your remnant, Lord God. Even as the church is getting, trying to get itself together, you have people. You have people, and your people, Lord God, I pray, Lord God, will rise up, Lord. Your people, Lord God, will stand, Lord God, on your behalf. Your watchman, Lord God, will see clearly, Lord God, what is going on. We'll hear, Lord God, with spiritual ears, Lord God. I thank you, Lord God, for the union, Lord God, of the watchmen and the intercessors, Lord God, as they come against this darkness, Lord God. Greater is he that is in us, Lord. We can be the Davids, Lord, coming up against the Goliath because of you, Lord God. Because, Lord, we stand, Lord God, for you, Lord God. We stand, Lord God, on righteousness, on justice, Lord God. And I thank you, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, that, that we will bind up the enemy, Lord. We will push back the enemy's camp, Lord. Father God, I bind that spirit of that Omicron virus, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. And I say it has to go. I say it because, Lord, greater is he that is in you, in us, than he that is in the world. You have power, all power. The blood of Jesus covers us, Lord. We are more than conquerors through you, Lord God. And I thank you, Father God, that I can stand with other believers, Lord, who know without a doubt that you are in control. We will hear your marching orders, Lord, that because we're your army, Lord, and we, Lord, receive your marching orders now. We, Lord, will hear from you, Lord. We will stand on your word, Lord. We will stand, Lord, just as those people of long ago, Lord, in the Old Testament, Lord, who stood, Lord, even when it seemed to be impossible. They stood, Lord, even when the army seemed mighty. They stood, Lord, because you are in control. And they believed in you, Lord. So let our faith, Lord, our faith in knowing that, that the victory is ours, that the battle is won, that we will conquer, that we will, Lord, cast down this violence and this, this murdering spirit through our prayers, that through our standing on your word, Lord, that every 
every kind of variant of a virus that comes against us, Lord God, we will send it to the pit of hell, Lord God. We thank you, Father God. We thank you, Lord. emotions by unsanctified souls Lord but Father God that we would prepare ourselves Lord just as a natural army prepares Lord for war we're in war and that we would Lord cast down everything that is not of you we would have sanctified souls Lord I thank you Lord that you have a people who are ready to do battle, Lord. And I pray, Lord, that they will hear your, your call, Lord, your clarion call, Lord, to go forth in your name, Lord God. I bless you tonight, Lord God, and I thank you in the name of Jesus. to the Lord in his sanctuary. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for calling us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that our hearts are ready. We thank you for this house, this awakening house of prayer, Lord. Oh, it's anointed, Lord. We thank you for Apostle Jennifer. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for Jesus. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you. We thank you. We praise your holy name. We thank you, Lord, for calling us this weekend, Lord, for all that are here, Lord, for this intercessional session with you, Lord, that our hearts are ready, our eyes are ready, our ears are ready for all, all you have to give us, Lord. We are ready. We have heard you. We thank you, Lord, that we hear your voice. We hear it. We receive it. And we thank you that Apostle Jennifer is blessed, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that your inc incorruptible seed will be flowing out of her mouth, Lord. And our heart will receive the seed into fertile soil in our heart, Lord. And it will prosper, Lord, because you have us prosper. You want us to prosper in every way, and therefore your seed will prosper as it flows through this anointed house, Lord, as it flows out of our mouth and to our ears and to our eyes and into our heart, and it will flow, Lord. <sighs> 
and it will prosper and it will be abundant and it will manifest into our lives and into the cities and into the world Lord and we thank you Jesus for you have called your soldiers and they are here we are soldiers of Christ you've called your army Lord you're rising us up you've risen us up Lord and we thank you Jesus we thank you Jesus we thank you Lord hallelujah glory to God hallelujah your word does not return back to you void and as your word flows through this weekend Lord it will not return back to you void it is true we thank you Lord worship you Lord and we thank you we are blessed in Jesus name Thank you, Father, for everybody that you have brought here tonight, every single intercessor, Father, every single person on the wall. We bless them, Father, in Jesus' name. And Lord, we repent, Father, for whatever we have done, said, or thought, Lord, that has not brought you any glory. We repent, Lord, on behalf of our nation. We repent on behalf of our city, of our county. And we lift up for Lauderdale to you tonight, Lord. We bless it, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus around it. We plead the blood of Jesus around this house, around Apostle Jennifer, and around the event tomorrow, Lord. We declare and decree that no weapon formed against this event will prosper. We pray, Father, that we may leave here empowered, Lord, enlightened, and powerful, Lord, to go stand and go to our post, Lord, where you have called us to be. And Father, we just pray for every single Awakening Prayer Hub every single leader father every single person under them we plead the blood of jesus over every single hub and we declare and decree multiplication lord we ask you father that you may bring the people father that can be united together in prayer they can be united in love father we repent father for any backbiting gossip slander we just come against every single spirit lord that does not unify in your body father we ask you father that you may forgive us lord for every single thing that we have done that has not um, been good even for the prayer hubs lord and we ask you lord that you may give us a mantle of love that you may give us love for one another that even though we may not agree on everything lord but we agree on you 
Help us, Father, to be unified as a body, Lord, that you may be able to bless this prayer movement, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus over Apostle Jennifer, Lord, over everything that she does, that she may make the most of her time, Lord. We bless, Father, the work of her hands, Lord, and every single word that will come out of her mouth, Lord, that your word may not return void, Lord. And we just bless Awakening House of Prayer. We bless every single ministry birthed out of this house, Lord, the deliverance, the healing, the prophecy, and this prayer movement, Lord. For you know, Father, that this cannot work, Lord, without intercession. And we just... We just pray for strength, Lord. We pray for strength. We pray for boldness, Lord, that we may be able to stand and withstand in the evil day, Father. We thank you, Lord, for every person here. We pray, Father, that you protect them, Lord, from every single bacteria, every single virus, Lord, that it may die when it comes into contact in Jesus' name. And, Father, we just pray for the spirit of violence, Lord. We bind it, Lord, and we release your power, Lord, your powerful arm, Lord. We ask you, Father, for Holy Ghost fire, Lord, for the people, Father, that are lost, Lord. They are lost and they're dying and they don't know you, Lord. We pray, Father, that they may be arrested, Lord, even before they want to do anything that is contrary to your will, Lord. That you may arrest them in the spirit, Lord. That you may be able to give them even repentance, Lord. And they may not even know why they're repenting, Lord, but they may fall on their face and say, what can I do to be saved, Lord? We just ask you, Lord, for, for even the evangelists, Lord, that you may give them your word, that they may proclaim it, Lord, that we may profess, Father, what you say, Lord, and we may leave it to you, Father, that your word will perform what it's supposed to do, Lord. We bless you and we thank you, Lord, and we just cover this event with the blood of Jesus. We cover the prayer hubs. We cover the leaders and every single person that you have brought here tonight and for this weekend. We love you, Lord, and we pray all these things in your name. Amen. We just thank you that the heavens are open. Hallelujah. And that, Father God, we are going to encounter your glory this weekend. Father, we just thank you for encounter after encounter in this place this weekend. We thank you, Father God, for our eyes being open, our hearts receptive to what you are bringing to us this weekend in Jesus' mighty name. We thank you, Father, for the word that is being released, hallelujah, in the place tomorrow night in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God, that it will flood us, that it will encourage us, that it will quicken us, that it will cause us to go further, be stronger and steadfast in your word in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you that every single person that is here, that is coming, Lord God, that whatever they came for Father God, they're hallelujah, they're not gonna leave the same. They're gonna come here, God, and encounter you. They're gonna leave in your grace, in your glory. They're gonna take intercession back to their region. They're gonna take intercession back to their churches. They're gonna take intercession back to their homes. And Father, it's gonna cause breakthrough in Jesus' name. We just thank you, God, for breakthrough in operation. Hallelujah, hallelujah in this place. We thank you for awakening house. We thank you that it's going to do just that. Awaken every intercessor. Awaken, hallelujah, the glory on the inside of us. Father, we thank you that it's opening our eyes and our hearts to receive all the impartation that you have. We thank you for, Father God, hallelujah, just the impartations that are coming, Lord God, for your word. We thank you, Lord God, for the angelic encounters. We thank you, Lord God, for, Father God, for how you're going to lead us and guide us tomorrow in Jesus' name. We thank you for Apostle Jennifer. We thank you for the word in our mouth. We thank you that it's a right now word that is on time and that it's right for this region in Jesus' name. And Father God, I agree with the prayers, Father God, of your people against the violence in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord God.
God, that we are winning the war in Jesus' name, no matter what it looks like. We thank you, Lord God, for your protection and your covering, even over Fort Lauderdale in Jesus' name and the surrounding areas and every place that's represented, Father. We thank you, God, for the glory of God, hallelujah, that is filling this place. Father, even as we have come and gathered together, we thank you that Fort Lauderdale will never be the same. Father God, that your glory is filling, hallelujah, this region. Your glory is filling this place. Your glory is filling your people, and you are encountering them for more. In Jesus' name, we thank you for more, hallelujah, of you. We thank you for more of your word, more of your glory, more of you. I thank you for the infilling, hallelujah, the refreshing that we're receiving, God, even now in Jesus' name, that you will refresh us, Father God, in Jesus' name, that there will be a refreshing on tomorrow in Jesus' name, that there will be a just a, a refill of your glory, a refill of you in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, for where you're taking us. And Father, we just continue to speak healing over our nation, Lord God. We thank you for the reign of your glory, your reign of your presence over our nation hallelujah father that you are healing people in the hospitals you're healing people in their homes you're healing people in their schools hallelujah that you are causing this your glory to flood hallelujah your glory to flood in the places lord god and that they will be filled with life hallelujah life we speak life over people who are sick life over loved ones life over uh, even those that need salvation we thank you for it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.